Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Adaptive Arts Shine On Virtual Showcase, brought to you by Dirty White Couch Studios. Here's our founder and host, Miss Jetta Cruz. Friends, welcome to the 2021 Shine On Showcase. Can you believe we made it? What a crazy year. A pandemic, a show, a virtual show. How do you do that? Well, we don't know. We're just doing the best we can. We tried to figure it out. Here's what we do know. We know our students put a lot of heart and effort into this show along with our teachers. The Chop Liver Orchestra did their homework and worked really hard. And we guarantee it's gonna be entertaining. We're also kicking off our annual fundraising campaign for the year, 4,000 Lessons. Um, that provides programs training and performances for students of all abilities for the entire year. Make sure you find our GoFundMe link below. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. So before we get started and kick off the music, just a couple of things. Make sure that you're commenting and communicating with us. If you're watching from Facebook Live, there's a comment section. If you're watching from YouTube Live, there's a comment section. So just make sure you read the descriptive areas and find the comments so that you can chat with us. This first number is student, teacher, community partner, and student volunteer, along with the Chop Liver Orchestra, we'll talk about them a little bit more later, performing together. And then it's followed by another raucous number. I, I won't talk too much about it. You watch it, we'll chat after. Let us know what you think. Here's Wish You Were Here. Okay, this is for Mike and, um, Ian, this is Luke and Jenna doing the rhythm for Wish You Were Here. Are we ready? Heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rain? A smile from the flame. Do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade? Your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for trees, hot air for the cool breeze, cold comfort from change. And can you exchange a walk on part of the war to lead roll in the cage? 
wish you were here We're just two lost souls swimming in our fishbowl Year after year Running over the same old ground What have we found? The same old fear I wish you were here
Adaptive Arts is a nonprofit organization that provides art training and performance opportunities for people with all abilities. Here at Adaptive Arts, we offer a number of music classes, whether it be an instrument, a voice, or a music and movement class. We also offer a theater class focusing in improvisation. I like Adaptive Arts because it's a safe place, it's good to meet new friends, it's good to try new things, it makes me feel happy. Adaptive Arts is a way for a person to express themselves. So Adaptive Arts' mission is to provide art education for all abilities, but we cater to the special needs community because they do not have as many opportunities afforded to them as people without a cognitive or physical challenge. Never underestimate the talent that a person with disabilities has. It's often hidden. Adaptive Arts has improved my daughter's life by introducing her to music. My art school is amazing. I love it. Adaptive Arts creates a curriculum that is able to be adapted to each student's abilities, whether that be physical or cognitive abilities. I'll give you an example of a student, Cindy, who came to me and she's just, she's beautiful. She has Down syndrome, but she also has a, a birth defect that did not form her left hand fully. We definitely have uh, some challenges ahead of us. How do you play guitar when it requires two full hands? Cindy knows she's a guitarist. I saw the guitarist. I didn't see all of these can'ts. I didn't see all of these challenges. We just deal with them as they come. We put a thumb pick on the thumb of her hand and we laid her guitar flat, gave her a slide, from that moment on, nothing stopped Cindy. She was able to roll. Relationship-based education is fundamental here at Adaptive Arts. How can I teach you if I don't know you? It has to be a trusted relationship. We focus on relationship-based education so that we may know the student, they get to know us, and we learn how each other learn music together. Patrick does a great job with Lily. He does a really good job of connecting with her. She really likes Patrick. There's some giggling and laughing usually involved in some joking around. And um, then they get down to business. Lily's great. Lily's a little butter bean. Lily is one of my private piano students and she has grown so incredibly much in just the few months that I've seen her. And I can't wait to see where her piano playing goes by next year. Patrick is so nice and comfortable. I love him very much. So Sarah is a young woman on the autism spectrum with a spirit like no other. Sarah is a bassist and she can rock it. So it's been nothing but joy for me because that's my instrument actually. Um, Jetta Cruz makes me happy and laugh and I like her bubbly personality. She's very good with the students. Jetta understands my autism and she understands that I need to take it slow and use visuals. And then she also is a happy person. Jenna and Sarah are like best friends. Jenna has just, I think with all of her students, has, has a, a good relationship. She understands them, she gets to know them, she gets to know their families. So she kind of gets in sync with them, which is great. We love Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> so students train on their instrument or their genre of art until we feel that they're at a proficient level for performance. When we feel that they have made those milestones and are ready for a live show, we provide the live show opportunity for them. But we also mix in professional musicians and artists from the community to perform alongside our students. Actually, one of the strengths of adaptive arts is that it's not just about the people with special needs. The community gets involved too, and some of the some of the performers that Jenna knows uh, come and want to perform with these with these students, and, and that's what makes it so um, alive. I think I felt really happy because everybody was cheering me on when I was playing the bass guitar, and they say, "Go, Sarah," and stuff like that. That made my heart feel happy. She just did not want to stop. You know, it was going. All night long, you know, yeah, it's fun. So COVID brought an additional set of challenges to everybody. 
But at Adaptive Arts, within two weeks, we were able to convert all of our face-to-face -face classes to online video conference classes. And that, that trusting relationship that we had with our students actually made that a pretty seamless transition for us and them. The other thing it did for us is it erased our borders. Now we can go anywhere the internet goes. And so we have now students from other states who need our services who are now part of our, our family. I would say within five, six, seven days, Jenna had figured out Zoom. She was offering her classes and we were off and rolling. When students leave an adaptive arts classroom, they leave with a better understanding of a musical concept, a confidence in their instrument, a self-assurance, and the knowledge that they are loved and supported in any endeavor that they choose to take on. I want parents to know that adaptive arts is a safe place to come and explore the arts for their child. The dance concert is awesome! Yay! Okay, these next couple of songs. Our, our teachers are rock stars. At least that's how we know our students feel about them. And so this is Mr. Patrick and the theater class uh, doing a fun number called Quarantine Life. Uh, a shout out to Zach Tozier who suggested this song. He's one of our guitar students. I think we all know a little something about Quarantine Life after this uh, last year. And this was just a humorous way uh, to put some visuals to it. So uh, you'll have to let us know. You'll probably recognize some of the actors in there. Uh, give us some feedback. The, fo the song following, very powerful and heartfelt uh, song by our vocal students. So uh, sit back and watch these next couple. I think you're really going to enjoy them. I wish it I could go to Target It's been a few weeks I'd spend a couple hours shopping Buy something I don't need Last night I dreamed I went to Starbucks Heard him say welcome back Then I woke up, drank a bad cup of coffee Threw a homemade mask And now I'm sad Quarantine life, quarantine life can't lose weight, but I'm losing my mind. Quarantine life, quarantine life. Killing that corona with a Clorox wipe. It's lonely inside, but we're gonna survive. This quarantine life, quarantine life. It ain't all good, but it's all alright. I think I might have had a birthday. But I don't know what month it is And on the days I take a shower Yeah, I consider that a win And every day my girl's complaining Cause they closed the salon Now she's looking like a stranger to me I always thought she was a blonde But she's not Quarantine life, quarantine life Friday night toilet paper shopping online Quarantine life Quarantine life Made the Tiger King famous overnight It's lonely inside But we're gonna survive This quarantine life Quarantine life It ain't all good but it's all alright I wanna leave my house I wanna touch my face I wanna hug my friends I never thought I'd say I wanna go to work I wanna wear some pants Kids that go to school I love them but oh man I wanna play show or doing what I love Wanna go to church or crackle bear or brunch Wanna leave my house or wanna touch my face So it's just another day in this quarantine life Quarantine life Quarantine life, quarantine life Friday night toilet paper shopping online It's lonely inside But we're gonna survive This quarantine life Quarantine 
life. It ain't all good, but it's all alright. Quarantine life, quarantine life. It ain't all good, but it's all alright. Quarantine life, quarantine life. It ain't all good, but it's all alright. But I was going to give you an open mic. At, uh, at the showcase today. That all entirely depends. Is this going into the showcase? It could very well be if it's good enough. <laughs> oh, dear God. So, firefighter, a policeman, and a medical student walk into a restaurant, right? I mean, a doctor. Shouldn't we take that? A policeman, a doctor, and a fireman walk into a restaurant. A policeman, a doctor, and a fireman walk into a bar. A policeman, a fireman, a policeman, a fireman, and a doctor. Can I at least get to the punchline? You can edit that part out, right? Do I need to do another take? A policeman, a doctor, and a fireman walk into a bar. A policeman, a fireman, and a doctor walk into a restaurant. A policeman, a fireman, and a doctor walk into a restaurant to chat. Just, they didn't have any particular reason, they were just there to have a con. That was clunky, I'm gonna do that again. A policeman, a fireman, and a doctor walk into a restaurant to... Why was I about to say to eat food? What else? A policeman, a policeman, a, a police... I said policeman, fireman, doctor, right? A policeman, a fireman, and a... Do I should probably just say a completely different joke. Is this even worth it? <laughs>
You're not alone. alone. Gifts of time, talent, and treasure. That's what every nonprofit organization needs. What does that mean? Well, gifts of treasure. $800 will sponsor one student for an entire year. That includes their class materials and two performances. $800, one student for the entire year. Maybe that's not in your budget. So $15 pays for one class. And our goal is 4,000 lessons. That's 4,000 $15 donations. So if that's more in your budget, how many classes can you sponsor? If it's one, that's fine. No donation is too small. And all of this adds up to helping us further our programs and our performances. Speaking of performances, maybe you like this show. Have you ever seen one of our live shows? They're incredible. So we're always seeking underwriters to sponsor these events. That's a way that uh, another way that you could get involved and help us with your gifts of treasure. Gifts of talent. Three board positions are open here at Adaptive Arts. We're looking for the qualified individual with the heart of service. This is a very exciting time to be a part of Adaptive Arts. We're growing. Uh, the community's uh, support is on fire. We just made it to round three of a venture capital competition with Notre Dame called the McCloskey New Venture uh, Competition. So there's just so many exciting things that are happening and we really are looking for that team that can help us go and uh, to the next level. Another way that you can help Adaptive Arts is take a class. Maybe you've been interested in playing guitar and never had the courage to reach out for lessons. Uh, a lot of people think that Adaptive Arts is just a school for people with different abilities. And even though we cater to the special needs community, we are a school for all abilities and all ages. So if you're a dad that's always wanted to play guitar and never picked it up, or if you're, you know, uh, a mom that's always wanted to play, uh, you know, guitar in a band, whatever your dream is, the first step is to take a class. And Dave Perry will tell you a little bit more about that. Well, my daughter, Elizabeth, uh, has been involved with classes with uh, Jetta for I'm not even sure how many years now, quite a few years. Uh, it's a huge part of Elizabeth's life, um, both doing classes uh, here, doing the streaming <laughs> over the last year or so, the, the classes online. Yeah. Um, but that's really what first got us connected uh, with Adaptive Arts. You know, and from my daughter's perspective, it's completely changed her life. Um, she loves to perform. Uh, she loves to sing. That's what she does most evenings when she's home is, you know, practicing her singing. Uh, but it gives her an outlet uh, to perform. It gives, lets her get on stage every now and then. Uh, it's uh, built a ton of confidence in her life of uh, being able to grow and take lessons and be able to grow her craft of what really makes Elizabeth Elizabeth. So. Uh, that's been absolutely huge. Um, well, I, I don't know, I've been thinking about it for a few years, um, partly because Elizabeth loves to sing, um, and I don't. <laughs> so I thought something that I would be able to do that we could interact together was learn how to play guitar. I uh, had never played before. Um, so probably a year and a half or so ago, I reached out to Jetta and said, hey, I'm interested in learning how to play. I know absolutely nothing. I don't have a guitar. Uh, at that point, I'm not sure I'd ever held a guitar, uh, but I uh, reached out and Jetta was awesome and, you know, just welcomed me in and said, hey, let's do a few lessons. Uh, I had a guitar that you know, I could, you know, get started with and uh, kind of went from there. And then uh, she had a suggestion of working with Mike Davis. Uh, so I've been working with Mike now for probably close to a year. Um, that, I think that's one of the, the things that I really benefited from with Adaptive Arts is just kind of that contact with community and getting, you know, I, I have a lot of uh, trust and respect for Jetta. Um, so, you know, she was a great place to start. Uh, and then, you know, because I have that trust built there, when Jetta said, hey, you know, Mike would be a great person for you to work with. You know, I'm not going out and doing research and looking for different people. I trust Jetta, Jetta trusts Mike. So I'm working with Mike. Uh, Andy at GNA, 
uh, is where I bought, um, you know, a few guitars now. And, you know, just another great connection. Andy's very connected with uh, Adaptive Arts and a good friend with Mike. So, you know, that was another great connection inside the community for me. Gifts of time. Volunteers are the backbone of pretty much every nonprofit organization that I've ever been a part of. And we need them here at um, Adaptive Arts as well. So maybe your gifts are in the classroom working with music or um, maybe there's social media. There's many, many ways. The needs are great here at Adaptive Arts and we would love the opportunity to explore with you and find out how we can best fit you in the area that fits your talents and your, your time. So reach out to us if you're interested in volunteering. When I wake up, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who goes along with you. And if I get drunk, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I hate her, yeah, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's havering to you.
want to chop liver? A professional musician who knows the power of music and art in their own life and is willing to share and help others discover that within themselves. That's a chop liver. I am so honored to share the stage with these professional musicians who humble themselves and call themselves the Chop Liver Orchestra to be the backup band for student performers. That speaks volumes in the type of people that they are. Mr. Rod Martin, Miss Wendy Martin, Mike Davis, Chris Campbell, Scott Cavanis. You'll see the talent. I mean, that, that speaks for itself. They are talented musicians, songwriters in their own right. But it's the being active and rolling up your sleeves and caring about someone else that speaks volumes to me. So make sure that you give a shout out in the comments and the accolades and kudos to the Chop Liver Orchestra and thank them for being so wonderful and always being a part of our showcases. I think this particular group probably has performed in three or four different showcases. We have a lot of other community musicians out there that we need to give a shout out and a thank you to for, past sh for sh performing in showcases past. Um, and if you're a musician and you're looking for a way to plug in and volunteer, let us know if you'd like to be in the Chop Liver Orchestra. So when they're not being Chop Livers, they're also in another project called Wendy Martin and the B-Side. Wendy is an incredible songwriter. I think I spoke about that already, but this particular song is called Stronger Than You Now. Listen to the lyrics. It's dedicated to all the parents out there that had to be chief cook, bottle washer, parent, teacher, engineer, our first responders, and everybody that's gone above and beyond. And of course, it's dedicated to our students who face their challenges and don't put limits on themselves every single day. Uh, the message is pretty powerful. Listen to the words and just remember you are stronger than you know. Miss Wendy Martin and the B-Side. I can tell by the way you stand with your heart on fire and fisted and you jaded. And there's a look in your eyes there'll be no compromise you're too frustrated and everywhere you turn somebody's telling you what's truth and what's a lie you already know it's not as simple as black and white Search for what is real Don't let anybody tell you how to feel Cause you
tell you about Mr. James Gibson. He is our teacher spotlight for the show. Mr. James teaches vocal, guitar, and piano. Uh, he is just a wonderful and compassionate, uh, sensitive educator. Um, one of the things I really love about James is he thinks outside of the box and has really made some really wonderful gains with our vocal students. Many of them had been told that they were tone deaf their whole life and come to find out that's not the chick, not the case at all. They've just been singing in the wrong octave and they had an aversion to singing in the front of their, their face. Uh, they tend to like to sing towards the back. So sometimes the sensations of the sinuses and your face vibrating was a little, a little put off, put them off a little. But James hung in there and has taught them fun ways in which to channel their energy, uh, and to, to really embrace their vocal quality and their ability to, to match, uh, pitch and to have uh, a more quality of tone in their singing voice. It's just been amazing. Another thing about James is he's a food artist and he and his family started the, uh, a wonderful restaurant. It's that food that haunts you, you know, like after you eat the chicken and the tater tots, uh, you'll think about it for weeks after and it'll call you back. I don't know what they do to that food, but it haunts you and it will call you back. So if you're downtown Elkhart, please stop in at the Tipsy Biscuit and say hey to Mr. James. Again, we're featuring him in this one. And when you hear this voice, I just think you're going to have a whole other respect and love for Mr. James. Sometimes I go out by myself And I look across the water And I think of all the things And what you're doing And in my head I've been a picture Since I come on home But my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair And the way you like to dress won't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of me. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Valerie. 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 Did you have to go? Jail, or put your house on the for sale? Did you get a good lawyer? I know you didn't care to ten. I hope you found the right man who fixed it for you. Hire you shopping anywhere, or change the color of your hair and dye your business. And did you have to pay that fine? That you was dodging all the time And are you still dizzy? Since I've come on home Well, my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair And the way you like to drink Won't you come on new?
Adaptive Arts is happy to announce the latest addition to programs, Art with Anne. Miss Ann Goins recently joined our teaching staff, and we are happy to have her. Ann's an artist by her own right, but she's also got a heart for the service and work that we do here. She has a love and compassion for her students, and combined with that, that love of art really makes her a perfect fit. Anne knows many of our students from her former work with Logan Industries and their stu art studios. And so she brings this wealth of experience and an enthusiasm and a passion for art like no other. She's watching right now, so would you please welcome her to the team and let her know how happy you are that she has uh, joined Adaptive Arts. And please look for her programs called Art with Anne. How do you say thank you to a group of people who are always there for you? Well, I guess you just, that's the word that you have is to say thank you. But let me go a little bit further. There's this person in particular who I'm talking about, and his name is Andy Beck. Andy is the sponsor for the show. Um, he owns two businesses, GNA Music and Dirty White Couch Studio. And Andy's this type of friend, he, uh, you know, who calls you up on a Monday and says, hey, I have eight ukuleles. Andy Peck does, who calls you on a Friday and says, hi, I've been thinking about your students and then like to give them a recording opportunity and then we could maybe make a CD and you, you could use it for funding your school and um, I'd like to do that. Well, who does that? Andy Peck does that. Andy Peck is that community partner who rolls up his sleeves and helps. He has ideas that I've never even thought of. So I just want to say thank you to Andy Peck. And how can you say thank you? Support his business. If you're looking for a musical instrument, make sure you check out GNA Music. They're behind Outback Steakhouse uh, on Grape Road. And then, of course, Dirty White Couch Studio for any of your recording needs. I just think it's one of the best studios I've ever uh, recorded in. And, of course, I'm a big fan of Andy Beck. So um, Andy's abilities and engineering skills are like no other. So you just can't go wrong with Dirty White Couch Studio and uh, GNA Music. I'm also going to give another shout out to uh, a guy like a brother to me, Mr. Jimmy Leap. Uh, he is part of the Leap Family and the Leap Family Foundation, our community partners, philanthropic organization who does really, really great, wonderful things. And just recently, they uh, sponsored five students with full scholarships for the year. And uh, we just can't say thank you enough. So we want to, we aspire to be more like the Leap Family Foundation and our friends. Another shout out to our community partners at Eco Al Press. Rich and Cass Fowler are incredible friends of ours. They've done all of our graphics and uh, for our showcases, it's many times pro bono. I, they just, they're just wonderful friends. So please support a, a business that is give, always giving back to the community. Uh, they're environmentally conscious and just all around good people. We're going to roll credits to a lot of other of our, our community partners and sponsors at this time. And if you would pay attention and students and families that are part of our school, if you would do a shout out and reach out and just say thank you uh, to those those organizations because we couldn't do it without them. This is a way that you can help and it won't cost a cent. It's just a couple clicks and a couple seconds of your time. So we recently subscribed to a service that will allow our videos to be uh, placed on our YouTube page legally. So we will have this show split out into individual uh, performances for each of the songs. But in order to be able to do that legally, we have to have 4,000 subscribers to our YouTube channel. So what does that mean? You actually just go to our YouTube channel, Adaptive Arts, and then you click on it and you click the like button and then you click the red word subscribed and when it changes to gray and cha changes from the word subscribe to the past tense of subscribed, you're done. It literally is just two clicks. And this is a way that you could really, really help us because at some point that, that monetizes our YouTube channel and then it starts adding and averaging about a penny a click. And so with time, this is another way that we can raise money for our organization, stay legal, make sure that we give credit to the originating artists that we're covering. And it's an easy way for people to participate and help a great organization. So click, click, 
Tell your friends uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 4,000 is the magic number uh, for 2021. We're raising money for 4,000 lessons and we need 4,000 subscribers to our YouTube page. So uh, please uh, spread the word, click, click. We really appreciate the help. Friends, this is our practice video for the hand movements for Shining Star. Remember, it goes a little something like this. One, two, three, four, pop. Then we go around the world and stop. We'll go out and then in and then woo all the way down. Let's do a little faster. Ready? One, two, here we go. We got a one, two, three, four, pop. We'll go around the world and stop. We'll go out and then in and then woo. Perfect. Now let's take those same hand movements and let's put it with some music. Here we go. an hour can go it just evaporates so uh that brings our show to a close we're so happy to share our shining stars with you as well as our mission please continue to donate this is an annual campaign tell your friends we need those 4,000 subscriptions and uh there's just so many ways to get involved with the organization so hopefully we painted a really good picture for you today in ways that you can help have a fabulous week ahead and congratulate our students on a job well done That was powerful good. That was powerful good.